Welcome everybody to the dungeon. This is Lamp Working 101.19. We're going to talk about raking and different raking techniques. I have three different things I'll use to rake my glass with today. One of them is going to be the tungsten pick, which should be in every hot glass worker's arsenal of tools. And then I have just this like pick that I found if you don't know what kind of metal it is, if you get it too hot, it could melt. However, tungsten is incredible in the flame. It doesn't melt. And simple stringer. This is really one of my favorite ways to rake. I'm just gonna use what I know works for me. But you know, you have time to play around, find the best tool for you and go with it. Let's get started. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. We are going to very quickly run through the making of this bead so we can get to the raking part. If you're unfamiliar with the barrel shaped bead, you can always refer back to my flame working, lamp working 101.7 video. Okay, I know this is red because I have already marked it and the red, yellow, and orange transparents need to be, um, what do they call it, oops, it needs to be, uh, it's a uh, flashing color, so it's going to look clear when you lay it down, but then you have to develop it by cooling and heating. So I want to put these colors down first. And I'm just going to swipe them on. Um, which way though? Let's, you know what, let's, uh, we shouldn't have done that, but let's do these in the round. Let's move on to the orange. I have a theme today, a theme I have never had. The theme today is rainbows. But what I really want to do here is push the orange a little bit more into the red. I go to roll it out, so I'm rolling and I'm pulling a little bit.
Excellent. And just cast off. Okay, here's our big wad of stuff. <laughs> All right, let's spend a little time shaping this up. And then we'll get to the part where we're doing the raking. I'm running out of something here, and I don't like it. Okay, so let's do some raking. I'm going to, oops, just heat up an edge here, just to one side, as much as you can without it freaking out. And then you're just gonna pull that glass down and then take that little nib off, okay? okay? And that's with the white stringer. And then I'll let that go, okay? And then we will turn it a little bit further. And just back and forth, back and forth, until it starts. And I'm going to use that stringer and just gently pull. A little bit off of there. And it looks like I'll be able to do one more going this way. And then we'll turn it around and uh, rake the other way. So you're just heating and you're grabbing. And with the stringer, you want to make sure you're really, you know, pulling in there because the stringer can cool down. You don't want to get stuck in the middle of a pull. Okay, so now we have our little guys here. We can just use, just fold those in. Okay, let's try the tungsten pick. So I'm going to heat this up. And I'm going to heat up my tungsten pick as well and pull right through the glass. Okay, that would give you a different effect because the tungsten pick allows you to work in the glass. Let's try that again. If you get glass on the end of your pick, you can always right in the glass. It's a slightly different look. Let's see if we can do it again. Boom, it really like pulls into that glass. Okay, and I, d I have one more spot here. Let's try this, uh, where is it? Up, up, down. I'm trying to find the spot. Up, down, up. Yep, here it is. I am running out of something, okay. Let's finish this up so I can figure out what oxygen or gas I need. This is out of the heat and a gentle pull, okay? And then just dip your thing in the water and here you can use your stringer to just pull that little bleb off of there. But pretty much there we have it. Okay, let me see if I can get enough heat in here to finish this bead. I cannot believe I'm running out of oxygen or something. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. This is when all of a sudden you are like, I'm in trouble. Oh my god, I think I might be out of oxygen. 
roll it out real quick. <laughs> Pretty much that's uh, that's our bead. Okay, I'm sorry about the, uh, the lack of oxygen, but uh, it looks like there is no more. Damn. Anyway, well, let's put this in the annealer and we'll see it later. No! Thank you. 